Louisiana Beer Reviews, Great Tim Beer Company, 30A, India Paleo. 30A, that's a county road in Florida. County Road, 30A, 30 alternative, whatever. All right, um, I bought this in Mississippi at Claiborne, Claiborne Market. Best Buy, from what I can make out with these scrunched together numbers, Best Buy July 26th of 2020. Apparently a new one is 4.5% alcohol, so a session IPA, in other words, a light, thin IPA. 70 IBUs, wow, slow down, you're here. Well, I'm not there, I can't go to Florida right now. Maybe I can, well, we'll see. All right, but anyway, um, respect Mother Earth. Right, okay, uh, this is the first video review for this thin session IPA in the world. I've had some other, whoa, the sun. Ah, ah, ah. Well, that was sudden. <laughs> Feel like the fifth dimension right right now, you know. Let the sun shine. Man, this beer looks green. But that's just the lighting, I hope. Oh wow, look at that moosey lemon meringue head. Da 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 da. Alright. This is a clean glass, so don't I don't need the uh, glass police to tell me. It's a dirty glass. That's why I got the bubbles on the side. It's dirty. It's dirty. No, it's clean. I clean these glasses with extremely hot water. And my principle really is if it's not scalded in my hands, it's not hot enough. All right. So uh, sometimes it's just the um, nature of the glass. Maybe it's a little more chip. Not chipped. I wouldn't drink out of a chip glass. But you know what I mean? Like um, not as smooth or, or um, the beer itself lends itself to these kind of bubble clinging bubble action thing facilities. There's the soapy, thick white head. Uh, here we go again with Marilyn McCoo and Billy Davis Jr. <laughs> oh, that's strange. The glare is incredibly. Well, it smells like a typical session IPA, honestly. The only one I ever had that I liked was the Founders Session IPA. It had a lot of flavor and character. But my complaint with most of these India Pale Ales uh, of the Session sort is that the body is too thin relative to the hop, relative to the hop action. Like you get four and a half percent here, and then there's 70 IBU. So it's like a very thin, like okay, like some people have described hop water. It isn't hop water, of course, but <sighs> for the same price, you can get a Sierra Nevada Torpedo. And the argument that the people will make is that you, they say, whoa, you could drink a lot more of these. Um, that's true, I guess. Um, but then I don't know. For what you get, the price point, you may as well just get. And I'll let you fill in the blanks there. You know what I'm talking about for eight, nine, ten dollars a fifteen pack. It smells like standard hop resin. Nothing bad, but just standard. Meaning piney, kind of fruity thing. Yeah, 70 IBUs. This is coming across pretty bitter. It's uh, like the sunlight glaring on me and throwing me off. It's like that. It's I would, I would like the sun to come out and dry this grass up. I want to cut it. The body's low medium. The flavor is like pale malt. Think of like white bread crust, if it's the crust even. Um, 
like fruity hop resins that are kind of, I don't want to keep saying the word thin, but kind of like thin in the flavor. The finish is on the dry side. <coughs> All right, look. When I bought this, in Bay St. Louis on US Highway 90. I, I didn't think, oh man, I, I can't believe it. it's gonna be just a Paramount product. It's gonna be, you know, like something I, I, I've been to the mountaintop type thing. I, I didn't think that, I, I, but I just thought it was a regular IPA. And then when I came home and I started researching it on their website, I was like, oh. honestly, I was sitting there like, session IPA not another one of those I was like all right try to give it a fair score which I am gonna try to do I am doing um, it's okay guess guess I would rather have like um, Of course, this is lager. What I'm talk about to talk about, like an old Milwaukee thing. But the old Milwaukee is like better because it has more like body relative to the hops. Now you say, what well, the IBUs are low. It doesn't really have any true hop action. It doesn't. Only for balancing reasons. I know. It just, I don't know. It's just more enjoyable. It's just. I'm very torn. I, I'm not torn because I'm mostly negative towards it. I just, I, I'm not getting the uh, session IPA thing. I just, it's not resonating with me. I don't see why, why would you want to drink that? Now, is this worse than most of what you get? Like, is this some inferior representation of the session IPA style? No, it isn't. In fact, it's probably a little better than average. Still, I think the founder is all day is the winner. I wouldn't buy that one. But, um... Yeah. I've had some great other great tin beers, and I was greatly pleased. This is okay. Even in the style, you could say... Probably a B plus very good but and then I'm going to preach against my own sermons right because I always say don't don't say the style is bad because other people it's true I know some people like the session IPA style I realize that it's, a, it's an actual style so like I'll just say hey you want to drink it go ahead and drink all the session IPAs you can get a hold of enjoy it there's nothing wrong with that I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. I'm saying it's a bad thing for me. But, and, I, and I, I will stand by that because people should drink what they like and if they don't like it, they can talk about it. Uh, like in rock and roll club, people post music and they'll be like, oh, it changed my life, man. And I'll listen to it and I'm like, okay, I never heard that before. And they're like, what do you think? And I'm like, well, I mean, I heard it. You know, but they press me on it and I'll be like, not too good, you know, but then they get angry, you know, but I mean, I listened to it. I gave it a chance, you know, everybody doesn't like the same kind of music, but anyway, everybody doesn't like the same kind of beer. So it is quality. I mean, there's no off flavors or aromas. It's, it's totally a style bound complaint that I have. It's not a quality issue here it, whatsoever. So if you're looking for a quality session IPA, Grayton is a way to go. Yeah. No doubt. But anyway. All right, so I did it. <laughs> um, I have some other interesting products from um, from that trip, and um, well, we'll. I, I don't really have any preview comments because I don't know what they're going to be like. But that I know that the, date, the dates are not good, <laughs> and I blame the store, the three tier system. <laughs> And I blame a lot of, I blame some of you here. And I blame a lot of 
a lot of people, but I don't blame I blame me too for not checking the dates. But I mean, it's like you don't think about that. All, I don't think about that all the time. All right. All right. So lay. Laissez les bon temps relay, a very good beer nonetheless. And I'm gonna end this review by saying, y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana. <laughs>